What's up guys, today we are starting the show The White Lotus. So, I don't know too much about the show. From the poster, I've seen a few actors that I've recognized, like, what's his name? I was so close to calling him Tobias Eaton, but <laughs> Theo James. Who else was on the poster? I think there was that dude from Radio Rebel, you know, the Disney movie. I don't know his real name, but I think he's in there too. Jennifer Coolidge. That's all I remember seeing, really. I don't really know, like, the plot of this show yet. I was just going to wait till I actually got into the show to figure that out. But, yeah, I don't know too much. A lot of people say that it's really good. So I wanted to get into it myself. So I guess let's just get into the episode. We just like to sit around anyway. Which hotel were you at? White Lotus. White Lotus? So it's a hotel. Killed there. No, the body's on our plane. Well, other than that, did you have a good vacation? It's my honeymoon. Yeah, congratulations. How wonderful. Was it his wife that died? No offense. Leave me the fuck alone. That's kind of mean, but if it was his wife, then I would understand why. On a coconut island, I'd like to be a castaway. be so very much to do I would linger a while and just gaze into your lovely eyes his wife was Alexandra Daddario and that's Sydney Sweeney Jennifer Coolidge I've seen the other girl somewhere I totally forgot where he went to Dartmouth international finance she loves him but He's got a small deck. Bardo. She loves animals. Hates Jews. High end pimps for billionaire sex pervert. That dude looks familiar. Where have I seen him? Where they get everything they want, but they don't even know what they want or what day it is or where they are or who we are or what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I could say you get a dollop of mayonnaise on your top, honey. What is, what is that on your left hip? Oh. Aloha, aloha. Aloha, Hello. thank you. I'll check in with you in a little while, okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Aloha. Aloha. They just love her behind? Well, two syllables, but the second part is one syllable. Why? Why? Is it Gailey? I mean, she's just explaining her last name. Unfortunately, we are all booked. Oh, no. I just... Really? Are you sure? They're gonna... They're gonna somehow fit her in. Just wait. Uh, Lani, please ride with Ms. McQuad back to the hotel and bring her up to the hibiscus suite. Okay. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. I thought she would have been with the family since I thought that they said that she was a part of their family. What? What is it? What's wrong? This is the wrong room. How do you know? I mean, look, it's an amazing view, and we're near the restaurant, and it's convenient. We can stuff ourselves and go drown in the ocean. <laughs> He's still gonna want to change to the other room. Is it, is it a big deal? Really? Yeah. Yeah? It's our once-in-a-lifetime honeymoon. That's understandable, so I do kind of feel bad. But it's still a nice ass room. Is it this time, ma'am? 
One thing is just, uh, where are the bags? Right there, right behind you. Oh. Is she blind? She possibly could be, so maybe I shouldn't say that. Oh my God, he has a, uh, oh my God. I can call the bellman? Yeah, uh, uh, it, no, yeah, it has my mother's ashes in it. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Do you think it's lost? Why would you bring it there? Oh God. Okay. Quinn, why is your bed in here? Olivia said I have to sleep here. Olivia. They put him in this whole beautiful room. Oh, he's doing fine in there. Look, he's stimming. He can entertain himself for hours with just his own hand gestures. He's fine in the kitchen. I swear to God, she is annoying as fuck. Well, we're so happy to have you, Paula. I'm fine in here. See, Mom, he's fine. He's being himself, gaming and fapping, and bye. See you later. It's her first day and she's pregnant and no one knows. I thought they would have to know shit like that, but... It's <laughs> finding everything to your liking? Uh, actually, I think you put us in the wrong room. We, we were supposed to be in the honeymoon suite. Oh, there is no honeymoon suite. Wasn't it on the website, though, that he toured? You're paying for a presidential ocean view suite. Um, the Palm, that's a very nice room. Totally unique. Right? It's really nice. Oh, but no yeah. plunge pool. Wait, so do you think maybe she just booked a different room after and didn't tell him and hoped he wouldn't notice? No, there's a German couple staying there. Oh. They also just got married. <laughs> yeah. So, it is a honeymoon suite. Shane. No, I It's just... not that big of a deal. I mean, the room. He, it was just a coincidence that they also just got married. Maybe. No, it's... Thank you. Thanks. Of course. <laughs> I think I might have fucked up and double booked the pineapple suite. But, you know, hopefully I'll just get over it. <laughs> See, in situation... He literally... Oh, okay, so it wasn't like a mistake that his mom made. He double booked it. I did not choose to look at this. Where have I seen you from? I wonder what's going on. Are you Greg Heffley's dad? I mean, uh, it's not a family of mice that burrowed inside my ball sack. It's <laughs> cancer. Or maybe even something worse. Well, let I still feel so weird about what I just saw. And now that I know that it's... He played Greg Heffley's dad. <laughs> He's sitting in there alone. He looks like he's killing time in a waiting room before a root canal. Go get him. Go have some fun. Nick. He doesn't want to hang out with his own kid. Was when my dad died. Well, then all the more reason to pay him a little attention now. While you're still with us. Just go have fun, dude. Y'all are in a different state. Go do something. They are like the most judgmental people I've ever seen. Well, it doesn't seem like they've been doing too much judging, but it's like just the look on their face. That would make me uncomfortable and feel too judged. Our masseuses are fully blocked. Sorry, but I actually have some free time right now, myself. 
I thought she just coordinated the stuff. I didn't know she actually did it. Hi. Hi. I saw you guys on the boat and on the plane. Um, the chemistry was there and... His deck's not small. I don't know. Shane really wanted to get married and... It's like they seem nice, but it seems like an act, and... I'm a, I'm a journalist. Oh. Mostly profiles and, um... Where'd you go to school? SUNY Potsdam. They're, like, interrogating her. So many questions. She hasn't even got to ask about them. Compared to most families, yeah. I mean... It sounds like you scored. Yeah, he's super hot, congrats. That's the only thing they had to say about him. Else's profile, but um, there's like 10 women kicking the corporate world's ass, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Now they're done talking. <laughs> Why the automatic frown? I, 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 uh, I you're right. You're white as a sheet. Oh my god. Wonderful, of course, fantastic. And I thought it would be fun to try scuba diving. Yes, a few reefs are still thriving. Do you have your paddy license? Then that would be impossible. Uh, you can get your accreditation here, though, in the pool. Great. Takes three days. <sighs> oh, yeah, because don't you have to learn how to scuba dive? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Surf lessons? Well, the surfing team leaves first thing in the morning. I could sign you up for tomorrow, 6 a.m.? There was finally something that they could do. Sharks. They're actually a family of sharks that hang out in the bay, but they're quite small. It's like this big. They're cute. So no one's got hurt from them? I have her ashes, you know. I brought them here and I was, you know, I was going to scatter them in the ocean because she loved the ocean, but I... See, that makes sense. I didn't think about her scattering them there. I've driven away every man that I've ever been involved with because, you know, I just, I get, I just, you know, I get too attached. Feel you. I'm my own phallic mother. I'm my own vaginal father. My own vaginal father? She's making you sing too? You don't have to do this part. <laughs> okay. And not his kid watching. Why do you keep looking at your dick? I'm not. I'm looking at my balls. How do you explain that, though? I'm gonna go in. Are you afraid of sharks? Just... Y'all literally just got there to do something and you're already going in. That is some bullshit. What? The guy lied. I mean, that or he's just stupid or something. We did book the room with the pool and we paid for it. My mom forwarded me the booking. So he's gonna go confront him? What are they gonna say? 
just enjoy our honeymoon. You know? There's no problem. <laughs> oh my god. Are you about to be a jerk? You look like a jerk anyway, but... I just want you to have the best. The best. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go with it. About an hour and a half, so we can, um... Oh, no, absolutely. We can take the whole block of time if we want. I don't know why it was about to seem that she was going to book them for today or something and just lied that there was any openings. This time right now can't be easy. Why? Because we can't harass girls anymore? No. What the fuck? You know, you're just happy you're not the villain. You know what I'm saying? Is this about mom making more money than you? No. How the hell did you get that from that? Did you see the little sharks? No. Nope. Didn't see much. No? Well, go first thing in the morning, take a little bread, and they'll swim right up to you. It's like a Disney movie. <laughs> At that point, they're just lying. Baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's Lani? Katrini. What do you mean she's having a baby? She is in labor. Lani, the trainee. Mm hmm That's what happens when you keep it a secret. But he he also didn't even know who she was until he said trainee. Lobster is very tough. It's very tough. <laughs> People are really just watching that. Leave her alone. Okay then. Sooner or later he's going to end up coming up to her. Or her up to him. Sir. Hey. I guess um, I have an email here uh, about the booking. Can I talk to you about this in just a minute? I hate that he was bringing that up just then. Like, bro, you're at a fucking dinner. It's all good. It's all good. He's one of the most annoying characters. She's become like obsessed with Melinda. Like, yeah, I get she helps you a bit, but it's like, at any chance you get, you're just like, Belinda, we should be besties or something. Torches. I don't remember seeing a guy buy the tiki torches. Does she think if she says something, her friend might go after him? Shit, Nicole, it's the doctor. I told you, today is tomorrow. Answer it. Answer it so he knows. Or like, so he tells you. Hey, I'm on vacation. It's very late here. Can you just please get him back? I I'm so sorry. It'll just be a few minutes, I promise. Call you right back. They say that, and then they're not going to call back for a while. And he's going to end up falling asleep. Just wait. We're married. We're on our honeymoon. Yeah. I don't know why this gave me major like Twilight vibes for a second, but it's like, that ain't Edward, so. We are always gonna feel like this. We will always be young and we will always be in love. I thought we were about to see someone like peeping through the window, but it's just a window shot. Right? Mm -hmm. 
it's already the end of the episode. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be someone peeping through the window. And I thought I had way longer on this freaking episode because it said it was like an hour. But okay then. I was kind of surprised that she didn't die by like the end of this episode. But then again, it's only been the first day. And it said one week earlier. So we have a whole week until she dies. And you know, it kind of, he didn't say exactly that it was his wife. But I mean, that everyone's just assuming that. So I'm also assuming it was her that died. But then a little part of me is like, well, what if it's not? What if it's someone else that was in his family or something? I don't know. But... I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with the fact that it was her. But what's it called? Sydney Sweeney's character and her friend, they are too judgmental. They look too judgmental. And with the fact that her friend didn't even tell her, like, about the dude that she was gawking at earlier, I already have the feeling we know she would probably go after her, like, the dude since she knows that the friend likes him or something so maybe it's a good thing that she lied and was keeping quiet about him or she just doesn't want to show for some reason why she liked him i don't know but that's just automatically what i'm assuming but one the brother he was kind of weird but not like i don't want to say not too weird either because there are some things that they mentioned that are weird as fuck but he seems a little chill, but <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what's his name? Mark? I'm going to have to start calling him Mark instead of Greg Heffley's dad. But I did not expect to see that dude's dick in this episode at all. Why would that have to be something I had to see? You could have just talked about it. But you know what? No. We had to see that. But I'm ready to see if he actually, like, has cancer or something. Because the doctor's like, I'm going to call you back. And you know what? I do actually feel like they're going to wait a long time to call him back. But you know what? I want to know if something's wrong with him or not. So he could stop worrying on that vacation. Like, have a good time. Stop really thinking about it. But then again, I would understand why it would, like, be stuck in your head. But you just don't want to ruin the vacation for everyone, you know? But, what's his name? I still don't even know dude's name, but Alexandra Daddario, her husband in the show. I don't know his name. It's like he has moments where I like him and he's sweet. But there's also moments where I hate him and he's annoying. And you know, just looking at his face, he kind of reminds me of the dude from the movie where the crawdads sing like the girl's other boyfriend or whatever because it's like he seemed like he's nice and everything but he also seemed like a dick and you know what that kind of seems like how he is but i don't know he's just mostly he's been aggravating me at that point because it's like she's trying to have a good time and then he's still worried about the fact that he got booked for the like wrong room and is paying more and it's like yeah that is a big deal but you're trying to bring that up while you're at dinner can't bring that up the next morning like y'all seem to have like they seem to have like a good dinner shit was going okay and then out of nowhere you really want to bring that shit up no pissed me off just wait till the morning or something bro it's still gonna be there He's still going to have the same reaction or whatever. You just got to wait. He has shitty freaking timing. And then what's it called? Jennifer Coolidge. Her character, I feel like some of her characters are like always the same character in anything she's in. Because I remember her being in The Watcher, A Cinderella Story, some other shit. But it's like her voice and everything... It's the same kind of thing in everything. And is she going to get like a different kind of character? Like it's kind of reminding me of like the situation with 
Dwayne Johnson, you know, The Rock. He plays the same kind of character in every freaking movie. And it seems like they're doing that with her, too. And I just feel like it would be cool to see her branch out to do something, like, be a different kind of character, you know? But let them be like that. I don't know. I, do, I mostly just want to see if Mark ends up, like, having something wrong with him because I need to see him put his mind to rest if it's the case that he has nothing. But yeah, I guess come back for episode two. <laughs>